Hi everyone, let's start co-integration using eViews. How we have to check co-integration using eViews. Suppose we have, there is, a, first of all, we must understand what you mean by co-integration. A co-integration test is used to determine whether there is a long-term correlation between numerous time series. And it has been Nobel laureates, Robert Engel and, and Clyde Ganger popularized the term in 1987 after British economist Paul Newell and Granger published the spurious regression concept. And after that, these two uh, Nobel laureates, he had in, they, they have introduced this particular, this particular co-integration series. Co-integration test detects situations in which two or more known non-stationary time series are integrated together in such a way that they cannot stray from equilibrium over time. So I'm sure co-integration test what why we are using this co-integration test that actually detects situation in which two or more non-stationary time series are integrated together in such a way that they cannot strip from equilibrium over time so the tests are used to identify the degree of sensitivity of two variables to the same average price over a specified period of time what are the methods those we are going to use testing co-integration? One is angel Granger test. And this one is in this first step of the angel Granger two-step procedure, residuals based on static regression are created. And then the residuals are examined for the presence of unit roots. When the examining time series, it employs the augmented Dickey Fuller test ADF that I have already shown you in unit root test analysis also or other tests to look for stationary units. This one is the, the Ingringer approach will demonstrate the stationarity of the residuals if the time series is co-integrated. So and next one is the Johnson test. It is the that would be the next method. A number of non-stationary time series data are tested for co-integrating relationship using the Johnson test. And this Johnson test allows the more, allow for more co-integrating relationships than the angel Granger test does. So here is, since a small sample size would result in incorrect result, it's subject to asymptotic properties and big sample size, the problems brought on by errors being passed over to the next stage are avoided when using the test to determine co-integration of multiple time series. So these two test tests under under this Johnson test, one is trace test and the one is maximum eigenvalue test. So shall we now start through e-views how we are going to check all these things. So let me open this e-views. And this file we are not going to use that I had already um, calculated. So let me open my one of the new file. I will just open this new file. Let me open this. Simply we will go there open foreign data as work file. And here is this file is on my desktop and simply what I will do this is the eViews folder where this file is put it here and simply I'm using this particular file and I will open this file. I will open this file and now you can see here is easily you can I have already explained you next next and further is also next and then next and further is finish. And after that, yes, we have to say no. Now this is the new file is open here. You can see current ratio, dividend, earnings growth, FC, FPS. I mean, these are my variables. So let's say we are going to open this file, current ratio and earnings growth, FC, FPS and make a group, open as a group. And simply this file is, yes, this file is open now. 
Now you can see this is my new file. Now what we have to do, simply we will go there, view and co-integration test. And here is Johnson system co-integration test. We will apply here. And we just want to check these are all our assumptions. So I don't know whether which assumption that could be applicable, leg intervals one or four, whatever is the leg intervals that would be applicable. So first what I will do, I would summarize all five set of assumptions. Okay. You can see now all five set of assumptions is presenting over here. Now we will go, we will simply take two criteria here. One is here is uh, Akaike information and then showers. So here is I will go through only Akaike information. You can see where is the asterisk sign. Asterisk sign is here 13.83069. There is the asterisk sign. So that means all these uh, first let me explain you all these columns are explaining reflecting assumptions and these are legs 0 leg 1 2 3. These are the legs. So through this particular criteria, I could say there would be second assumption and third lag, right? So what I will do, I will follow the same. I will, once again, I will go back to view, co-integration test, Johns, there is Jen, Johnson system. And further is we will go there and uh, I will select because that is the third assumption. And leg interval would be, that would be third. And I think second, sorry, assumption is second. So I will press OK. And now we can see these are my results. And as per results, you can see there is the probability, right? 0 0.00. And these are the trace. They are the two methods, as I had mentioned, trace and maximum eigenvalue. When we are using this trace method, that should be if null hypothesis, what the null hypothesis said, null hypothesis said, there is no co-integration. There is no co-integration. But alternate hypothesis said, yes, there is co-integration. So if we have co-integration, then only this data is useful for further regression analysis. So here is, is the 0, 0.00 and we can see here, this, these are the trace statistics are, right? There is trace statistics are critical value is 35 and this one is the calculated value trace statistics are 164 and this value is greater than this one and p value is 0 0.05. That means if the p value is greater than 0 0.05 then and that in this case null hypothesis would be rejected and alternate hypothesis would be accepted. So in my all three cases, you can see all alternate hypothesis are accepted. So that means there is co, there is co integration, right? So we can further go ahead for, you can see here trace test indicate three co integrating equations at the 0 0.05 level. This line itself, it is defining. So denotes re rejection of the hypothesis at the 0 0.05 level. And further is we can test it through eigenvalue, maximum eigenvalue. And now you can see maximum eigenvalue. All these values you can see eigenvalues 61.79, right? At this probability value 0 0.00. 56 and 45. All three eigenvalues, you can say maximum eigenvalue test indicate three co-integration equations at the 0 0.05. So I hope this, how we can run co-integration using e-views and how it would be helpful to know the interpretation and further take a decision that would be helpful. And uh, thank you. Keep watching. And stay tuned with my YouTube channel.